In the last two weeks, I've made over $2,000 with affiliate marketing. Every year as we approach December and the holiday seasons, online sales boom. And using this Pinterest affiliate marketing business strategy, you can take a percentage of the money being spent because I know I am. All you need is a phone and Wi-Fi. No resources, no skills. But for those of you who are new, affiliate marketing is essentially when you promote a brand's product or service and they give you a unique link. And if anyone signs up using that link, you will earn a commission on it. But often when we go into affiliate marketing, we go in hoping for clicks. Well, with this strategy, there's no hope. It is purely based on meeting demand, meaning you are guaranteed clicks. But how? I'm about to show you step-by-step step how I create a Pinterest business. Yeah, let's start. Yeah, let's do it. Step one will be how I find high volume, trending Pinterests all over the world. As all social media platforms, Pinterest is heavily trend based. So throughout the year, random topics suddenly get a surge in searches and demand. And often there is not enough content to meet that demand. The first thing to do is create a proxy Pinterest account, which will be for research purposes. Turn it into a business account and you will have access to Pinterest analytics. And once you're here, you can press trends and here is where the gold mine is. So as you can see here, we have the Pinterest trends board. You can literally do this for any country and you can even go into keywords and certain demographics, which is amazing. So the analytics here are incredible, but we want to take this one step further and actually use it to predict the future. All his life as he looked away to the future, to the horizon, Often, you know, right now there's Halloween nails, etc., that are trending, but you know, we've probably kind of missed that trend. As I mentioned, December is approaching, you know, Christmas. So what I want to do is be one of the first movers in that category. So be one of the first creators who is going to meet that demand. But you're probably thinking, what do you concentrate on? Well, luckily we have history on our hands right here on trends. So what you want to do is you want to go to your end date and I would put the end of December, so 31st of December, and it should start giving you what was trending, you know, during that period for the last month. You can put seasonal trends or growing trends. So let's see top monthly trends for that month last year. Elf on the shelf ideas, Christmas nail, Christmas cookies. You can see what is in demand, how it's changed to new year nails, 4,000% surge. This is already anticipating the new year. But for us, we, you know, we might want to go a bit earlier, November the 15th, and look at what's trending there. So you can see winter outfits, for example. Now, what we can do even further is kind of go into female, go into keywords, go into interests. And using this space here is a matter of picking, you know, what you think would work and using the data here. So I could press electronics, for example, and you can see there's a surge in headphones here. So yearly change 300% Apple Watch, iPhone cases, etc. So a lot of people are, you know, at that period searching for that. So I could create my business around these. So I found the lumberjack costume, which had a 400% monthly change. As you can see last year, there was a massive surge in the lumberjack costume. I'm guessing that a lot of people probably aren't, you know, doing this strategy in terms of building a business around it. But then I actually went over and looked more into the analytics, checked it for this year. Years. And as you can see here, the whole year it's been flat since the spike and now we're suddenly getting a surge again, which means this spike is probably going to happen again. Now, I'm not necessarily going to use this product, but I'm just showing you, you know, how these analytics work. You can really capitalize on this data that is right here, guys. So what you want to do is do the research, guys, go through this, pick a product that works for you and we'll start setting up the whole store. But remember, you can literally copy and paste this entire method. I'm showing you how I do it and you can do the same. You've taken your first step into a larger world. Okay, so the next step is optimizing your account and establishing your business front. Now, the first thing we need to do is create a new account. You need to turn it into a business account, which is very simple. Just do it in settings. Now, next, what we want to do is add a logo 
and a banner. Now, of course, this is dependent on what you've picked in terms of your niche, product, etc. Simply use Canva templates for this section. And you can use something like Color Hunt to actually find a good color combination or palette that makes your brand more professional. Now, you might notice when Pinterest make your account, they will automatically assign you a name. Now, you want to change this name to something that actually matches, again, your niche or product. So my product is something to do with the Galaxy. So I'm going to call my store Galaxy World or something like that. With our combined strength, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. Galaxy World Electronics, if that's my keywords, you know? So something just simple like that. And a quick bonus tip for your name, don't use numbers and try to keep it one to three words max, just to keep it clean and simple, as this looks more professional. Again, for your buyer, you can simply go on ChatGBT and type in a prompt like this, and you can write, make it shorter. And then, you know, just copy whatever they send, you know, make some changes, but it's that simple, guys. That took me a matter of seconds. Guys, this step was quick. Your account should be set up. Let's move over to actually creating content and building this business and getting clicks. I'm talking about form. I'm talking about content. Now, this is obviously going to be where we generate our clicks. So when it comes to content on Pinterest, there are two main methods that I would suggest you start off with and that's creating your own content, which is not that difficult using Canva, or repurposing content which is already out there. Typically, you can find content which is out there on TikTok, Instagram, Tumblr, type in Galaxy Projector or Men's Fashion, whatever you're going into, find some channels, download that content using Inflact, and it's ready to put onto Pinterest. And guys, one quick tip is always make sure that you credit the original creator of that content in your caption. Now for the unique pins, as I mentioned, you can use Canva and this could look something like this, where you're able to create something that matches your store and is more targeted. So you can give tips or whatever you want to do. So it really depends. I would research some competitors at this point, but it's very easy to do using Canva. Now there are two types of pins on Pinterest and that's basically idea pins and standard pins. Now in my experience, idea pins is what really generate the most clicks and bring people to my business. So idea pins are definitely important to do and they look something like this. But standard pins are what is going to make you money as that is what allows you to actually put the affiliate links. So the best thing to do is do a combination of both. You got a tip. Now, a quick tip here is when you're writing your description for your upload or for your pin, it's important to put as many keywords as possible so that the algorithm can understand who to show that content to. And when people search, you know, Pinterest is a massive search engine. You will be one of the top ones that appear and you will be meeting that demand. Remember, this is the whole point of our business. We are anticipating demand. And when people start searching, we will already have a strong storefront and be able to feed that demand. And guys, just in terms of your content, just so that you prep and anticipation is to have five to 12 boards and then 15 to 25 pins in each board. And if you can set up your store to kind of have this much volume, it will take you maybe a day or two to set up if you're new to this. And guys, you will be attacking so many fronts that is going to be inevitable for you to get clicks. Stick to these numbers and the results will come in. Let's finish it. Now it's time to make money, which is why we've had all the previous steps leading up to this moment. Now, as you know, when you go onto Pinterest, you can actually put affiliate links on your standard pins. And I just want to give you a quick point before this is to actually use a URL shortener or have a kind of landing page such as Linktree or Genius Link. This will allow you to track where your clicks are coming from allowing you to further optimize your store and more likely to get people to actually press your links. And Linktree, you can get started for just a matter of a few dollars. And you can actually build an email list if you're getting people to go through your landing page. And essentially, once you start building that email list, you can then promote these products via email, getting more and more conversions. And remember, as I said to you at the beginning, this is building a business. 
And you can copy and paste this method and keep this storefront going every single year. Now, depending on what product you've picked, there's a range of different affiliate marketing methods. So for example, you can use a platform like Digistore, ClickBank, the list literally goes on. For most products, and if you're targeting the USA, Amazon Associates is probably one of the best as it's a notoriously well-known retailer. So everyone is going to trust it when they go onto it and they're more likely to purchase. So if you've picked something electronic, etc., this is going to be ideal for you. All you need to do is go onto Amazon, sign up to Amazon Associates. It's completely free. And then on there, you can actually search for products which are going to match the demand on the search. So for me, for example, I will find something which is a galaxy projector and simply use my URL shortener and that's it. Guys, a quick bonus tip, when you're uploading your pen and putting all the details, etc., I recommend instead of putting your link here, I actually recommend you pressing this button here, which is tag products, and you'll be able to put a specific URL here. This will be the best place to use your links. So make sure you press tag products and then go through and add your affiliate links. Guys, you can literally set up your whole storefront in less than 24 hours as a complete beginner. And I really recommend that you take your time at the beginning just to understand the trends, just to think what's coming up. But once you start creating your content, the possibilities are endless. And guys, you can literally be building stores which are constantly trend focused and have multiple under one account. Guys, Pinterest is a great side hustle to start doing on the side and start generating that affiliate marketing money. And if you don't have cash, you can always text Exodus 99. Nine. No ah. way. Fucking cash only. Holiday season is approaching, so now is the best time to jump on this. Guys, my name is Alex, and if you like this video, please subscribe and like and drop me a comment if you have any questions. Make sure you check out my other videos. My name is Alex. Let's grow.